Hey, so I'm going to walk you through how to MC in one of the villages. So this is not applicable to stages. Stages is different. This is for sessions. You're going to want to navigate depending on uh, your browser, depends where it's going to show up to sessions. And then in the sessions, you're going to go into the session you're MCing for. I'm going to go to Teen Village. So in the Teen Village right now, there is nobody currently on screen sharing. Uh, I am going to go ahead and share audio and video. I pick my microphone, pick my camera, and apply, and I'm added. Now I'm added because I have already been approved by the moderator. If there is a moderator, or if you are a moderator, in the bottom left here, a person's initials, so in my case it would be NS, would show up. And I could either click on them to add them into the stream to approve them, or hit the top right, there's like a little dot, and uh, reject them from the screen. So while I'm here on the screen, I can see that I am one of five possible people. So at maximum, there can be five things shared on the screen. A screen share counts as one of those five. So you could have four people plus a screen share. I can see that there is only one person watching the stream. That is me. I can look here and see the people who are currently watching the stream. This is the chat of, you know, hi. Uh, let's see. So chat this. Oh, uh, I can turn off my webcam. I can mute myself. I can share my screen. I already see my screen at the top, me at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing. As an MC, we would like you to try to, in between speakers, share the JPEG that's in the speaker wrangler folder of our sponsors. Uh, alternately, you can just share the bottom here. Uh, we have the JPEG basically saved underneath each one of the stages. So you could literally just share your screen and show here because a lot of people don't scroll down and be like, hey, here's our sponsors, thanks to them. Quick way to get there is a little down button. Uh, let's see, this allows me to change my settings if I decided I picked the wrong one. Sorry about that. Okay, so the main responsibilities of an MC. Look at the schedule for your village. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. You could go to Sketch. It's also in Hopin, um, but it's not in the test Hopin instance. So let's just say I was doing the maker village. Okay, so the talk is gonna be a supernatural six build and open question hour. So I should know what the next upcoming talk is and who is giving it. And so ideally I would fill the time in between speakers, chit chatting, asking people questions, trying to get engagement. If I have a cute pet, I could show off my cute pet. Um, if you can keep it relevant to the upcoming talk or the prior talk, please do. But you're basically improving to fill the space. Now, when a speaker wants to come join, I will try and get as many of the MCs added as moderators as possible. The idea is that you can approve them to come up onto the stage. Uh, and then once they're approved to come up onto the stage, they're going to have to figure out their screen share and everything. So you're going to want to keep engaging the audience and try and engage them relevant to that person's talk. So, you know, hey, it's really neat that we're going to be making the Supernatural 6 desk toy. Um, you know, has anyone here soldered before? Has anyone here programmed on Arduinos or similar devices with wire before? So on and so forth. Um, or you could be like, hey, I've never uh, done a PCB board before and I'm really excited to like hang out and find out about this in the chat. Why don't you give me some emojis if you've done this before or not like that's your entire job. <laughs> Hopefully I explained it well enough. So as an MC, you should be comfortable being on camera and chit chatting with the people in your village um, and filling the space in between speakers and just trying to be engaging and have fun. So thank you very much.